Alright, hello everybody. Today I've got a quick little tutorial on converting your Kohler touchless flush from running off of AA batteries to running off a wall outlet. So the reason why I did this conversion was because I was going through the AA batteries pretty quickly, about once a month. I was going back and changing them out, so I thought I'd just be a bit cheaper to go ahead and buy all the necessary parts to do the conversion. The way the conversion works is I have AC-DC converter. This outputs 6 volts, which is what the unit runs off of. Um, from the end of the converter, it goes through an extension to get from the outlet near my toilet. And then once it gets near my toilet, um, I've got a female end of a barrel jack, which then splits off into two leads, the positive and negative. Those go over, they enter the box, and then here they are. Um, it goes to, one goes to the positive and the other goes to the negative. And then those come into contact with the two springs. And that's how the electricity is conducted when the lid is closed. Um, the modifications I needed to do were, um, there was, well, before you modify anything, there is a piece of cardboard here with the Kohler logo on it. Um, I had to cut that off to access the springs. Um, I guess it's not absolutely necessary, but it does make it a bit easier. Um, the other two modifications are drilling to the two holes in the battery case and the two holes in the side of the case for the entire mechanism. But one of the things you should remember is that you should glue, glue the holes or fill the holes with something so that water or the humid air isn't able to enter the unit. Because if you look, clo if you look closely, there is a rubber seal that goes all the way around. Um, just a little precaution there to make sure it lasts a bit longer. And really that's about it. Um, I'll attach a parts list in the description. The hardest thing to find was actually this female barrel jack connector, which takes the barrel jack and splits it off into the positive and negative leads. I would say this was the most difficult part to find. Um, I guess another thing that's completely optional is running the extension wire through some wire covers. It just makes it a bit makes it look a bit more uniform and looks more professional, but other than that, that's it. But um, if you do have one of these, I would recommend doing the conversion, um, <laughs> because now I'm using four less double AA batteries per month, but I guess other than that, that's it, and thanks for watching.